Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Operation Steaming Skull. No, what am I saying? That's going to be the mission for today. Welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers and occasionally one or two mechs. So uh, today, as I just said, we're going to go on Operation Steaming Skull where we need to protect a device on a very difficult mission with a lot of advent troopers. So we're going to get 106 intel if we succeed. And on this mission, we're going to take Sparky, Erica, Sarah, Hilda, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, and uh, Elisabetta. So let's launch this mission. And there we go, dropping into the outskirts of the city, which means that we could have a bridge on the field. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. It looks like Advent is throwing every grunt they've got at us, Commander. They're flooding the area with troopers. We need to be ready for a fight. Okay, but these high buildings will be able to give us an advantage here if we can use the grappling hook. I don't know how far we'll be able to push this. Uh, apparently this far, so let's start with that. And check out the upstairs there. And we don't spot anything, so I'll just move up. And I'll see you guys in a second. And there we go, we see two troopers and an officer, which is fine for now. There we go, they're moving up behind that car, and then we get a shot at the objective. That's eight damage on that thing. It can take a few hits, so we still have a little bit of time to get there. And I think we are in a pretty good position to start blasting at these guys. So let's do just that. Even with a dead eye shot, I have a 100% chance to hit this officer for 60% critical. So uh, let's do exactly that. Plasma lands to the face, or there we go, the uh, the rifle at least, the dark lance. So I don't know what those other two troopers did now, because they are technically revealed. We didn't bring a ranger with us, so I'm just gonna take a look. As you wish. And we spot those other two guys. How the hell were we not... We were already revealed. This is not fair. This is not fair. Hey, guys. Oh, they are... Is he? They're panicking. Oh, because we shot the officer, probably. That's weird. There we go. Eight damage on that one trooper. They did move quite far away now. Um, we do have a shot from up here on that one trooper, which is good. Ooh. I even have another shot from... Oh, yeah, because I took that perk, right. So I have a sniper rifle shot at that second trooper as well. So if you can move somebody up to the left there, it doesn't seem like we can though. That car is going to be in the way for basically everybody. I kind of forgot about this, but Jacqueline has run and gun. So technically, I should be able to move her over here, giving her a better shot at the... Super on the left there. And that even is a... Oh no, that's a flank shot on the other guy. And 56 on this guy. That is annoying. What else do we have? Saturation fire. Which drains all my ammo. Or rupture. I think saturation fire. Ah, it's not a wide cone. But at least I'm going to hit this thing. Uh, I'm going to have to be careful that I don't hit... I don't seem to hit the... Uh, the objective there but I might hit the Mac in the back which might be annoying because that might mean that he triggers there we go oh we missed we missed the trooper that is interesting uh doesn't seem like we it sounded like we hit the Mac or he at least noticed that we uh tried to hit him there now we have a flank shot on this trooper now, so another sniper rifle shot might actually kill him if he hit the critical here. There we go. There we go. And we can see the uh, the trooper in the next room as well. Uh, and we get another shot if we want to. But that's just going to be pistol shots probably. No, we can only do overwatch now. Um, I think I'm going to... Yeah, overwatch. And we'll reload in the next turn because we have free reloads with her anyway. And then the final trooper we can actually take out with uh, Sarah from up here. I might as well move her up just a little bit. I hope we don't miss... Uh, yeah, there we go. 91%. That should be a hit. 
That was a miss. Which means that he has... Tactical analysis. That's not a... Ah, there we go. We get another uh, overwatch shot from... Ah, and it is an overwatch shot with a sniper rifle. There we go. Damn, Erika is on a roll. That's her third kill. And then the Mac... The Mac did get hit by the saturation fire, by the way. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So that's three more troopers there. I don't know why the camera's going to the roof. I have control over it, but I... Yeah, there we go. Let's move up. Since we know where they kind of are, I want to move Jacqueline up. She might spot them now. Yeah, she does. Ooh! Crap. That is... Yeah. Do we see that sector pulled as well? Because that might be problematic, Overwatch. No, we don't. Okay, that is really good, because that means we can launch an EMP bomb in there. Um, yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's hold off on that. Move Elisabetta to a better position. Uh, this is going to be tight. So if we fire the Shredstorm Cannon now, how far does that go? It actually goes all the way to the back. So if we move her to the sides here, I'm going to have to go to the sides as much as possible. I think this is going to have to be it. So if you put it over here, she probably doesn't see anything anymore. Oh, she does. But with the Shredstorm Cannon, I do need to graze the objective, sadly. Because otherwise I'm going to hit it myself. But this should hit quite a bit and reveal... Um, the sector pulled in the back as well. So, Shredstorm Cannon. Blamo. And that is... Good? Not good? Wow. Did, did we not get to see any of that? Interesting, because we do see them. And the sector pod clearly was hit, but those two troopers in the back wasn't, weren't. So, what else do we have? We have a few 100% shots here. And I have a full sniper rifle. I can use one of the explosives from Jacqueline on this side of the... Yeah, this bit of cover over here. So those guys are both exposed and damaged. There we go, volatile mix, but only six damage on both. That should not suddenly give me sight on the sector pod, I would hope. There we go. Okay, so that gives us one shot and a trooper for free. I'm actually going to do that because I don't want to risk moving up and spotting that sector pod in this turn if I can avoid it. There we go, a critical hit. Um, and then we can move up with Sarah. She can go into full cover over here. Like this. She doesn't get a shot, but of course, Erica does, and she can kill the trooper in one go. There we go. And then I'm gonna put it on kill zone. I think I can do that, yeah. So let's put her on kill zone, which just covers this entire building. Yeah, just like that, kill zone. And then we can uh, slowly move up with the rest. We know we shouldn't be able to spot them from here. So let's just put a few of our Valkyries closer. And that's going to have to be it, I think. That's the two Yeah, we have left. So Hilda and Sarah on Overwatch. Now I'm supposed that Sectopod is now going to... No? Okay. He's just going for the objective, is he? That is interesting. Ah, no, he does move up. There we go. Sniper rifle shot in the face. That big a target? That should be a hit. There we go. Nine damage. And we might get another one if she spots the, uh, the troopers. Hello. There we go. Another shot. <laughs> yes, kill zone is coming into its own. Blamo. Nine damage on that first trooper, probably. And then we I think we got a Vamo. But Hilda gets another shot. Boom! 
and that was a miss apparently, even though it went straight through it. And then Sarah gets another shot with the disruptor rifle, and that does give us eight more damage. Now, uh, I think we can easily handle this because we have Sparky. Sparky will be able to dish out the big damage. So let's go to Sparky. Sparky does see... Yeah, Sparky sees the Sector Bolt. He can go into Overdrive. Start off with the Blaster Bomb. That is this thing over here. And I think... Ooh, we were able to hit everything. That is... Yeah, okay, never mind. Don't even, <laughs> don't even need to really think about this. Let's just blast everything. Probably didn't even need overdrive then, because this is going to be the death of everything. Oh my god. Oh no, there's one more trooper. Wait, did somebody say we got advent here? Did, did we open up a line of sight? Yeah, there we go. We did open up a line of sight to uh, a trooper and an officer. Where are they going to go? Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, I can move up Sparky to over here. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? And that should give us another shot at one of those troopers. One of them is flanked and almost dead, so there we go. Ooh, yeah, he he's 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 not gonna survive that. Um, okay, yeah, but we'll do that later. But first off. We have a sniper rifle, which we can definitely use to kill the remaining guys here. Um, I should get on top of the bridge, probably. But first reload. I can even put it on top of this truck. How does that work? Can we spot somebody from over there? Oh, that's going to be awesome if we do. Oh, we actually do. We actually see the... <laughs> oh, we actually see the officer from here. That is amazing. So let's shoot at him. Oh, nine damage, so no 60% critical this time. But we get a free action. <laughs> Goodbye, officer. Yeah, that is definitely death from above. What'd you expect? Well, nothing less, I suppose. <laughs> Let's put it over here so she can see the trooper next time if needs be, but we still have a lot of uh, people able to shoot at. Uh, yeah, this is definitely Erica's match. Um, Hilda still needs a promotion as well. So I think I'm just going to put a grenade down range, destroying the cover. Um, is he behind cover? That He doesn't seem to be behind cover. He's hiding behind something, but there's, there's nothing there. You know what? Let's just blow up the nothing. There we go. Apparently, it's still he's still hiding behind something. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I do have salvo, but I don't think I have... Do I have free lo reloads with Jacqueline? I actually do. So that gives us another free 50-50 shot. But I'm first going to try if Elisabetta can kill this guy. Because she still needs the promotion. And if we can, why not a 64? 64% chance. There we go. And I think that was the last enemy. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was a 20 minute mission. That was four, four turns. Yeah, okay. And everything is down. That even included the sector bolt. But that, yeah. We didn't really care about all of that. It's becoming abundantly clear that we're uh, able to take on anything at the moment. Um, which is, of course, really, really good. Performance commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. But uh, yeah, I think we need to wrap this up rather soon. So we're going to continue along the main quest, try to wrap up the remaining research tasks, because uh, we have control over the entire world. Every single chosen is dead. The only thing that we still need to kill is the last alien ruler, which is definitely something we'll do before the end of this game. But uh, it seems like I've proven my point. You can definitely finish XCOM 2 on the harder difficulties with just female soldiers. So uh, let's promote Elisabetta because she got one in the last mission. Definitely going for a heavy ordnance as we do with every single one of our grenadiers. There we go.
And from that we do get two repeaters, that is interesting, so 10% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining HP. Um, very good on Reapers with the Banish ability, because that of course means uh, the, that every single shot has 10% chance to instantly kill, so uh, if you have a, a large magazine that can uh, stack up rather nicely, and then the corpses and wrecks of everything we killed. And we countered the Dark Event made whole, I don't know what that means, but we do get 106 intel, so we might be able to... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a look at the, uh, the, the, the Black Market, because the Black Market might have some nice goodies for us. We do get more assorted loot, which is uh, definitely something I want to check out, but... I must say, I've never even needed to use the Black Market for extra supplies in this uh, run, which is really, really good. Uh, we could get the PCS for superior conditioning. Ha! Huh. I don't think we really need anything at the moment. As I said, we, we're actually suited to kill everything we come across. And then Miyu Tanaka gets her Null Lance ability, so let's uh, continue that training because I want to get her to a nice level before we actually use her. Domination is really powerful. Permanently mind control an enemy. Only one successful domination can be performed per mission. Um, that's an extra unit on your side of the, of the battle, so I think I'm going to go for domination next. There we go, we get a bit of intel from the power fluctuations and then I'm gonna start scanning. Now reduce contact cost. We've contacted everything there is to contact, so we're gonna go for the road traffic, the assorted loot over here. And then we get the Illyrium Conduit construction. Let's assign new research as well, because we're gonna get our supply drop in a minute. Uh, so that is done. And then we can get, yeah, the Berserker Queen autopsy. That's only three days, I really wanna have that. my three test subjects. Here, Berserker Queen also represents the greatest leap towards the boundaries of what could be considered reasonable and ethical research. Even in wartime, I must consider the fact that by providing an already unstable alien being with equipment that may further its own capabilities, I risk crossing a line that can never be uncrossed. Is it ever explained in those missions why Valen actually made those creatures? Because I don't see the point to making the aliens stronger. That just doesn't seem right. And then we get our supply drop. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past. And that is definitely positive. And of course, all the chosen are dead. And we get 732 supplies if we uh, are able to. Ooh. So next retaliation strike is also imminent, so we'll probably have that as our next mission, which is fine. I'm gonna go to the supply drop in a second. And there we go, gathering supplies, but... Oh, covert auction. Covert action is complete, and Jessica gets a promotion. Let's take a look at... Yeah, so we get another... Uh, we got another scientist, but yeah, not really that much of a problem. Jessica gets a promotion, and we can assign a new covert action. And we still can't recruit... We still can't recruit skirmishers, which is sad, because, yeah, we don't, we don't get to recruit one of those. <laughs> Ah, but first things first, uh, I think modular cannons is probably the most interesting one that's in here because that gives us, there's another breakthrough research here. Breakthrough in the interface design of our personal combat will allow us to reuse them indefinitely. That's even better. So we can swap them around if you want to. Ooh, yeah, let's go for that first. There we go, three soldiers on the job. Elizabeth, as always, because she's uh, basically our covert operative uh, that is permanent on the team. So let's go. And there we go. I barely pressed the uh, continue scanning the supply drop button. And we get our... Uh... Ooh, no, that's something else. That's a resistance council mission. Operation Soaring Fire. Extract the VIP from Advanced City. Uh, for which we get an engineer and some intel, which is... Completely useless at this point, but uh, yeah, we can't we can't start ignoring missions now because that's going to be bad for the game either way. Uh, we get a Spectre, Purifier, Trooper, Sector Pot, Lancer, Priest, Shield Bear, Codex, and Archon. So basically, every enemy under the sun aside from an Andromedon. And uh, yeah, no, Codex is in there as well, so let's check that out. So I think we're going to have our shortest episode ever. Let's just reconfigure the team a little bit. Uh, seems like a pretty doable mission, so uh, I'm going to make some space. 
So a bit of an unorthodox team for this one. We're gonna take Sparky again and then of course Miu, which I've uh, kind of dressed up like a, well, a Templar, but she's of course our uh, Psy operative or a very low level Psy operative. We'll see how she does. And then Jessica as our uh, major Grenadier, Hilde as our major specialist, and then a Captain Sharpshooter in Lisbeth Nilsson and a Lieutenant Grenadier in uh, Elisabetta Bianchi. So that's going to be the team for next time. Uh, everybody can get promotions, which is uh, again what we're aiming for, to just have a complete roster of uh, colonels. So that's going to be very, very nice. So see you guys next time. Thanks you enormously for watching and see you guys next time in the next episode of X-Home 2, the Valkyrie Play 2. Goodbye.